If you are looking for a different keyboard with an integrated display that works with your mobile phone, with your Windows computer or Mac OS computer, then this might be an interesting option. Not really sure if it's a keyboard with an integrated display or a display with an integrated keyboard which is mechanical by the way but we are going to find out what it is and if it's useful for your setup or not now if you are using windows unlike me i'm using mac os and you still haven't activated don't forget to check out keys fan where you can find budget official om keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get a bit cheaper so just in case the link will be down below just next to the k3 keyboard display docking station combo now that being said the display that it's right over here it's a 13 inches with a resolution of 1920 by 720 at 60 hertz so i would say that it, it's an hybrid between a full hd and hd resolution the angle is adjustable between 0 and 90 degrees with a button on the left that allows us to lock the screen at the angle that we want it has 300 nits of brightness with an ips panel that can display vivid colors and good contrast even at tighter angles that we only use on tests it is a touch screen with 10 simultaneous touch points and is a glossy screen so it will reflect lights like I, it happens with my macbook pro or what it happens with my windows laptop and if i turn it around you can see that it's a glossy display but as we do with any glossy display we just need to find the better position and that is it nothing new here the keyboard has 82 mechanical keys that can be removed and replaced with other colors, other layouts, so we can do a lot of do-it-yourself right over here. And it has an integrated docking station. We can see at the back it has one SD slot, one micro SD slot, two USB Type-C with charging up to 60 watts, two USB Type-A 3.0 and a power button. It also has an M.2 SATA, not NVMe, that we can use to place in an SSD. So the storage might be useful if we are using a setup with a mobile phone or a tablet or something similar, even a computer. Talking about computer, it works with Windows, Mac OS, Android, PlayStation, Shishbox, Switch, and so on and so forth. Actually, it can work with more devices, but these are the ones certified by K3 brand, and I did test out three of them, Android, Mac OS, and Windows. Now, the one that I did prefer was actually using my phone, my Galaxy S20 Fan Edition, and the experience was awesome. With Samsung DeX, we can use the desktop and with just one usb port on the phone i can have a larger screen with a great keyboard that i can use for work or for gaming connect peripherals like the mouse that i did and have access to storage of course accessing applications and using the phone as if it was a full-fledged computer without needing more accessories so i've got everything right over here for a setup such as phone or even a tablet and, and this was great honestly for a laptop either mac os which is what i have connected right now or windows honestly i don't see that much of a use but i did see on my main desk where i do have my mac studio and i played around with a few different video projects and even with my ultra wide monitor i did try having the monitor and keyboard just next to me and it makes sense in some uses where we want to have a smaller display for for example previewing videos that we are going to put in our timeline or any similar situation so the experience was really cool and despite having space on my main 49 inches display it was really nice not to have to move windows around and to import clips directly into final cut pro 10 which i was previewing right on the K3 display was really awesome. So this was one of the scenarios that I could see as well on a desktop and we can connect to laptops, desktop or even mini computers. Those mini computers that we review here a lot on the channel, it's just perfect for one of these where we want to have a small setup with a screen like this, keyboard built in, we just need the mouse and then we also have the option 
for storage. So those are the best scenarios that I can see for the K3. In terms of the keyboard itself, it features RGB lightning and we can control through the shortcut key that we've got right over here that cycles through the animations and the color presets. As an option, we can also use the software which allows us not only to control the presets, the lightning and the animations, actually we do have a lot more on this software than we have right over here which is about 8 or 9 and on the software we have about 20 or so. I'm not really sure I didn't count them and we also can create macros and a lot more options now it is simple software but with the functionalities that we need to manage the keyboard and the display that we have got right over here in terms of the display and portability it comes with a leather protection that we can put right over here and then we can take with us with our laptop i would say that it is quite uh, heavy for what it is it is like a laptop i would say and you can check the link down below with the price and specifications you will see the weight so that you have a better idea but i would say that if we want to travel with it for holidays or something like that just great if we want to take it on every single day on our backpack i would say that that would not be the perfect scenario because it's not that lightweight it's not that thin this is something that i would prefer to have on a static desk but it is possible to travel with it and the cover comes in handy so that we can place it in and we don't have the risk to scratch the screen now i would love to hear your feedback down below where do you see this keyboard and display combo being used on your setup is it useful in your particular case is it not what you think if possible share down below in the comment section so that we can gather info and share across this great community and if you did enjoy this video don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always I'll see you on the next one.